Who's a good boy? <laughs> That's awesome. Two grizzlies. Oh, you're 700 meters away. Good luck. Jeremiah, I'm hurting a grizzly towards you. Get ready. Oh boy. <sighs> oh! Oh, I see. I ran into a grizzly with the ATV. <laughs> How many grizzlies are in these woods? I'm actually a little worried now. I see the other one running. Yep, yep, yep. He's running right towards me. You definitely did scare that one towards me, though. I mean, it was charging right for me, and I think I might have gotten two good shots. All right, let's see where we hit. <laughs> She's very excited. Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. First up, a big thank you to Avalanche Studios for both sponsoring this video and inviting us back once again. We got to preview a brand new DLC for the Hunter Call of the Wild entitled Bloodhound, and as the name suggests, you're going to be able to bring along man's best friends as you hunt your choice of any of the maps in the game. If you guys aren't familiar with the base game, the Hunter Call of the Wild is developed and self-published by Expansive Worlds, a division there within Avalanche Studios. The Hunter Call of the Wild has an immersive open-world hunting experience, as me and Jeremiah discovered a couple years ago when we tried the co-op mode for the first time, and here a few years later, the game has almost 600 square kilometers of maps to explore, discover, and hunt on across nine unique hunting reserves, with a total of over 50 unique animals to hunt on those reserves. In the DLC, your new Bloodhound companion is going to be really good at, well, sniffing blood trails. And for me and Jeremiah, one of our hardest challenges before was tracking a blood trail after you get a hit on some large game, especially if it wasn't a great hit. With this Bloodhound DLC, which is out on March 30th for only 4 bucks on PC via Steam, PS4, and Xbox One, once you get that hit, you can get your Bloodhound to track it for you, and they're going to be very, very good at that, unlike we usually are. You'll also be able to customize your Bloodhounds, create a kennel to keep multiple different types, and of course, name your new best friend. As you hunt with your Bloodhound, their technical skills are going to be rewarded with overall improvement in both its tracking and companion attributes, but you can also pet it, praise it, and give it treats to help strengthen your bond all of which are going to make your dog a better hunter, more loyal, and more responsive. So with all of that in mind, we hopped in game to see how having a loyal companion hunting dog might change how we hunt here in Alaska. Joining me once again is going to be Jeremiah, who was right behind me but then went to my left. I was admiring nature, sorry. <laughs> that mountain range over here is very pretty from this distance. Oh yeah, now that is a view right there. So let's go ahead and get our kennel going. Do you mail? We want to start with just one. Yeah. Ooh, name your dog. What do we got, Jeremiah? Oh, gosh. Uh, Hank. Oh, wow. I like that. That is... <laughs> that dog's loyal. I can already tell. Hank? He's outside. <laughs> Hank? Oh, my goodness. Look at him. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at him. Who's a good boy? <laughs> That's awesome. You are invading my space right now. Me and Hank are having a moment. Oh, these animations look great. That is awesome. Let's get you a dog, too. Hey, come let me pet you. <laughs> All right. Trudy is sniffing something out. Oh. Hey there. Those are, those are good animations. Yeah. All right, let's just walk through the woods and pet the dogs. <laughs> Sounds good. It's just like real life. I guess we'll head, uh, which way is this? South? Okay. Ah, oh, man, it is just beautiful out here. Oh, look, Hank found a crossing. <laughs> Good boy. He's knocking leaves off the tree. 
pine needles. Just like a good goober would. <laughs> oh, wow. This lighting right here. <laughs> yeah, this looks good. Time to move to Alaska. I got a pet. How do you whistle? Uh, B. <laughs> you made you made Hank tilt his head when you whistled. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. I think we found some grizzly tracks here. In a run, okay. Scat found. Good work, boy. Oh, interesting. Okay. So I whistled and Trudy roughed at me and didn't immediately come like she wanted us to come look at something, but then she did. That's cool. All right. So we'll just try to stay at a walk. Yeah. Droppings are very old, though. Wait, I hear a noise. Red Fox mating call. I want to attract this grizzly, though. Fox again. Oh, yeah. Yep. Warning call for Red Fox. Grizzly was walking through here. Grizzly turned a bit to the southeast here, I think. Oh, he did like a U turn. I'm following that correctly, right? That was a turn? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Which way is the wind going? The wind's going... Oh, nice. Uh, it's coming from our front. Is it still seem very old for you? Droppings are fresh, actually. You hear that? Yep. Warning call this way. You want to break off? Okay, I see him. Want me to get sighted with you? Oh, yep. If you, I got you. Not sure if that was a good hit. He. It wouldn't let me shoot because of a tree. Yeah, he um he went back down to his front paws right as I fired, so he might have he might have dodged that. Let's see. He definitely saw us though. Ah, uh, no blood, so no hit. I agree. It's... All right, we gotta be careful here. I really don't want to get charged by a grizzly <laughs> out of the yeah. Like, our visibility is not amazing here. I got the revolver out. Because we'll have to actually draw some blood to use the bloodhounds, right? That's crazy. We must have just gone right past him going up that hill uh, before he U-turned. Oh, I see him. I see him. Take it if you get it. Are you sure you saw him? Well, but he didn't drop, though. Ah, uh, gotcha. Oh, that's a hit. No organs hit just now. Okay. Okay, we got tracks this way. He's running this time, yeah. Ooh, I Hank's, I just hit. Hank's charging. He smells it. All right. Um, there is a second set of grizzly tracks down here, so I, I guess good luck. Watch for the blood trail. Angling a bit to the right because we got some steep terrain to our left. Got a good clearing here. Got a hit. Is it running? It's running. 
into the underbrush. That was quick. He disappeared. Right where you are is where I hit him. Yeah, okay. big, big blood splatter. Vital organ hit just now. Okay, that was either lung or heart from the back, but... It switched back to bleed rate very low, but, I mean, it said vital organ hit, so... Yeah. Okay, uh, blood droppings just now. Dead grizzly right here. Oh, yeah, he is a big boy. Look at that. Uh, Jeremiah, you hit flesh. I hit the right lung. Nice. You know, I kind of give him the Forrest Gump treatment right in the buttocks. <laughs> Not my best shot, but I will take it. Nice. That was some good teamwork. All four of us. <laughs> Look at the loyal girl. Oh, you can tell her to, s to lay down. You hold it. I'm giving her praise. Yep. Oh, you can tell her to track. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, she's already laid her head down on her paws. <laughs> Aha, searching for blood. So when we get a hit next time, we can follow the trail easier. Yeah, okay. All right, what do we got here? Grizzly number two, shall we? Uh, old? Just tracked so far, no droppings. All right, I'm asking to track, searching for blood. Droppings fresh. Cat found. All right, if we can, uh, up here, I think. If we can, let's try to get eyes on it and get two shots on it. Okay. Just thinking... There are two of us. Yeah, it might just be a little less difficult. It's kind of scary, actually, to think about that out here, it's a good chance that these grizzlies would have never been in contact with a human before. So they don't really have any kind of fear. The thing that's scary to me is... Uh... Out here, no one will find us if the grizzlies get us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that too. That too. You still have good tracks down there? Yeah, yeah, we're good on tracks. Uh, back to a walk, it looks like. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. I got eyes. I got eyes. Running. Take He's it running. If you got it. He's running. Lost it. Is he heading more north or more east? Um, still heading, uh, he started to curve a little bit, so I'd say he's heading east by northeast. I just saw a really big, thick-looking bush, and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> oh, oh, eyes. I'm crouching. Go for okay. it. Alright, uh, hit back shoulder blade, I think. Nice. Ask Trudy so. to track. <laughs> I'm I'm following her in the blood right now. She's okay. tracking blood, I'm... okay? Yeah, where I'm looking for the blood. Just found some. Okay. Bleed rate low, but that could be because it's been a minute or two. I, I don't feel like I saw a major organ hit though. I tried to go for like a lung, like it was from the back, so through the shoulder blade yeah. area into the lung, but uh, man, I don't know the organs on a grizzly that well. <laughs> They're huge. <laughs> Almost feels like an insult to shoot a creature that big with like a bullet. <laughs> feels like it needs to be like an axe or something. <laughs> <laughs> we need some rolling cannons. Still tracking blood, I mean. Oh yeah. She's yep. on it. Eyes. Didn't have a good shot there. No, I don't know if I got him or not. Still running, still running, moving left to right, left to right. Oh! <laughs> shot the tree, just went behind. Also, that was terrible muscle discipline. I shot oh. like two feet behind you. 
Yeah, this is probably the last way that I would want to approach a wounded grizzly. Uphill, thick underbrush, thick trees. You still got blood? Yep. Yep, Trudy is tracking. That is... That, that does not sound like the same grizzly. That is a warning call. Okay, yeah, and our tracks are going in a different direction. I don't think that's our grizzly. Okay, I'm just going to watch our side here. Okay. Mm, I haven't seen blood in a little bit. I'm a little concerned there. <sighs> yeah. But it could have stopped, too. Warning call behind you. I did not see anything with the warning call, but I did see a grizzly up ahead. I took a shot. Not sure if I got a hit or not. Okay, uh, lead me in. All right, one sec. I'm just moving. We've up got to a it. couple of grizzlies, I think, in our hands here. Yeah, there was I'm, a warning call behind us. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little concerned by was this not the one that we initially ran into? Um, yeah, okay, so you're right behind me. Had eyes on it running away for a second there. What direction? Uh, southeast, almost directly southeast. <laughs> Good thing we had the bloodhounds here. I think I heard him. Really? Oh, shoot. Oh, there he is. Good hit. Second hit. Second hit as well. Track him, boy. Vital organ hit for sure. Huh. Oh yeah, Hank is after him. Get him, boy. Oh yeah, that's a kill. Good boy. Jajaga boy. <laughs> yeah, the first shot was great. Left lung, followed by a shot into the intestines. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Now that was an awesome hunt right there. Not a great trophy, but good hunt. That really helped, having Hank to track the blood. That was a quick trophy find. I think while we're here at the cabin, I'm going to switch to a different rifle, try something else out. I'm buying a Civil War era muzzle loader and mini balls to go with it. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> mountain side to the north. There's a huge building up there on the mountain. Oh yeah, I bet you this is some kind of mine. Partially buried. Yeah, it's a mining complex. This feels like a good idea. Oh, there's a little campfire here. Let's see if we can find something besides grizzlies up here. Oh, look at the sun in the mountain in the background. To the uh, south. Ah, this is what I call a vista. What do we have here? Oh, gray wolf. Let's do it. Uh, possible wolf resting area. Okay, resting between 1500 and 1900. So we're in that zone. I'm going to go slow through here. And I'm pulling the shotgun out. Wolf warning call? Yep, warning call. Going slow. If we get to a clear spot, we can have a chance at a long range shot.
dog panting in my ears, making me nervous. <laughs> Okay, I got a shot. Stand by. Direct hit. Uh, west, slightly. Yeah, I hit it so hard it was like over on its side and before it got back up. So that's going to be a solid hit. I'm going to just try to get the, uh, the blood. Oh, that's a big blood splatter. Vital organ hit. All right, Hank. Do your thing. Switching to shotgun just in case if you got the rifle. Yep. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That was quick. Gray wolf warning. We got growling. We got growling ahead of us. Is it the one? Is it this one? Is it not dead? That one's dead, but there's definitely growling ahead of us. All right, I'm watching. Oh yeah, I see him. Take it. I I don't I don't have a shot. Just about a hundred meters away. Uh, west, with maybe five degrees southwest. Okay, cover him for a second. Let me look at our kill before we lose it. Flesh, stomach, and liver, 100%. Save harvest. I could have sworn that I heard a warning growl from the wolves ahead of us. There was. And yeah. I saw it moving left or right, but it was at enough of a distance that I doubt it's coming towards us. Okay. Well, in that case, um, let's head up here to the cabin and call that a hunt. We're only 150 out. Sounds good. Before the wolves get us, I think these pups have earned a nice long rest in front of the fire. <laughs> this does look pretty chilly, and it is actually getting dark. This is kind of working out. I'm quite immersed right now. <laughs> look, the lantern's on for us, Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, I think our dog's growling might have convinced it to run off, because it definitely growled at us when we uh, approached the body of the, the first wolf. Yeah. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the Bloodhounds DLC. Jeremiah, thanks for coming out and hunting with us. Absolutely. I'm going to get some... Wait, can I get the fire going? <laughs> There's no stew on. I'm disappointed. <laughs> Man, I don't know if it's a placebo, but I really feel like the dogs improved our abilities quite a bit, at least for confirming our kills. Yeah, just them being able to like follow their way through the underbrush to find the next set of tracks. I mean, I think the proof is in the number of <laughs> grizzly bears and caribou that we bagged. Yeah, good numbers. Uh, thank you to Avalanche for inviting us to check it out and for sponsoring the video again. And thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.